accepting others is accepting their pain. Welcome to Womb Moon Yoga, yoga that helps women to be free and joyful in their bodies and their relationships. I'm sure you know that accepting someone is the first step in direction of improving your relationship with that person. And most of the time, this is the most difficult step. We tend to judge, we tend to criticize, we might go into this attitude, oh, I just wish you were different, and if it wasn't like this, I would be happy, I would be joyful and free, and that's all because of you. So we may really go into the victim mode, which is very disempowering. And yet, really accepting someone especially our family members, because we feel them so well, we really know their shortcomings, could be very challenging. So that's something I've been uh, struggling with in the past, I guess, months or so as we're moving through the eclipses. And I just had to remind myself again and again, you cannot change anyone. And it's not that I was trying to change them, but I was just really trying to stay away and maybe cut off because I just didn't feel like I want to relate and I want to belong. And the reason is simple. My family members might experience difficulties and problems and I don't want to be involved in that. And of course, again, there is nothing wrong with setting the boundaries and cutting off and just doing your best to be compassionate towards yourself first. You know your limits, you know how much you can take. But what I would like to share in this video is uh, how I found important to actually keep opening up and in order to accept someone I had to accept their pain and that's where that resentment and that pushing away takes place just because we don't want to feel suffering if someone in our family is suffering and i'm not speaking about necessarily physical pain it could be just they having lots of emotional upside downs we don't want to really be part of it because it will makes us feel that pain too and whether you are an empath or you don't think you are Whenever we are in relationship with a person, we are picking up those energies. So my first reaction was, oh, I just wish it wasn't the situation. I wish he was different. And I went into victimhood of just saying that, you know, he is taking away my joy and my freedom. And then after some time, I allowed myself to open up, slowly, slowly open up to acceptance. And I was given this advice by a beautiful, wise woman a while ago when I was preparing to meet a family member that I had difficult relationships with. She said, in order to accept them and stop trying to fix them, you want to learn how to suffer with them. So that's a difficult part. When we belong, we want to share our happiness, we want to share our joy, and we want to belong 
to the place or families or energies where there is lots of joy and freedom. At the same time, when it comes to experiencing any kind of emotional pain, we want to shut down. We don't want to go there. We want to cut off. So this video is an invitation for you to feel whether you have enough stability, enough self-love to help someone you are in relationships with to feel accepted and loved as you experience the pain together with them. I don't know if it sounds too complicated or too off from where you are at the moment, but that's what's coming through for me now. In order to love and accept someone, we need to be ready to experience their pain. Namaste.